In this video I thought we'd take a look at uh, this little uh, programmable attenuator that I uh, picked up off eBay. Now this is apparently works up to uh, 4 gigahertz and it's capable of uh, steps in increments of uh, 0 0.25 of a dB. Now I have got uh, various uh, attenuators here in the lab. I've got this nice uh, programmable one here got a uh, fixed uh, 3 dB one here and uh, several uh, ones here that uh, are around 3 dB to uh, 6 dB and I've also got this adjustable one here that's uh, really really nice HP one but it only goes up in increments of 10 dB. So my intention is to uh, use this mainly to help calibrate my network analyzer. Every time I use the network analyzer I have to do a calibration on it just uh, to go through the process which is why more often than not you see me just uh, jumping straight on the spectrum analyzer because you don't have to go through that uh, process with that but the fact that this can go down to uh, 0 0.25 of a db it should give me a good idea how accurate uh, my uh, network analyzer is but before we take this over to the test bench to see how accurate it really is i just want to show you some of the construction features of this that are a little bit uh, dodgy you can see here we've got these posts here and uh, they're a little bit short for the uh, unit you can see how they've bent up this bottom uh, PCB here you can see the bend in there and that's not going to be very good over time you're probably going to get a uh, dry solder joint in there and it'll just rip away the solder pad maybe as well so I want to sort that out before I start using it and I've also put these little spaces in here as well and I did think that was to help uh, angle the display so you can see it better but I don't think it is I think uh, they decided afterwards that there was not enough space for the uh, switch on this side here I think this is some kind of reset switch and uh, you can directly power it from these two here you can screw down directly some power in there but you can also power this off a uh, USB cable so I think that's what they've done there and they've kind of bent it up at that angle which is uh, not going to be uh, too good on it for uh, you know stability over time especially those solder joints they will break over time so I'm going to replace these posts here with something a little bit longer and uh, hopefully uh, it won't stress out the uh, circuit board like it is doing now so now that I've got the uh, two boards split, you can see both of the uh, boards here. This is the uh, bottom board that was slightly bent. And uh, you can see here that uh, you've got this arrangement of dip switches here. So I'm pretty sure if you put power in here, you're at 5 volts. You could uh, control the attenuator from these dip switches, but you probably wouldn't get that 0 0.25 of a DB but uh, you could certainly do that and uh, this is the board here you've got the uh, IC here and that'll be driving the LCD and uh, controlling the program that uh, adjusts the attenuator here so it's uh, pretty simple but uh, taking a look at the solder joints and everything it does look uh, a pretty clean job so that's the uh, modification then I've just replaced those brass ones with some nylon ones didn't have quite the length that I wanted so I've used a uh, nylon spacer there and then made it a little bit longer with a uh, nut under there and uh, there is enough clearance now where it's not uh, hitting that switch there and the uh, board is in there without that uh, strain that uh, was in this area here so it should last uh, a little bit longer now and uh, I'd also like to point out as well there are some that are a little bit more expensive than this I think I paid £18 for this and free shipping uh, but there's some that are around £30, £32, £34 that do come in a uh, little aluminium enclosure so you know maybe look at uh, one of those uh, because by the time I make an aluminium enclosure for this you just might as well buy that one. So this is the uh, setup then I've got the attenuator connected to a signal generator and at the moment it's uh, pumping in a uh, 1 gigahertz signal that's connected to the uh, power sensor on the uh, boot and power meter and you can see the output on the power meter there I've managed to get it nice and level um, you know if you look at the uh, four digits on there I've got it just about spot on minus uh, 21 dB a little bit of fluctuation but uh, that should give us a good starting point to uh, test this bit of kit out now one thing that I've already found with this attenuator 
is you get a uh, 3db loss just connecting it up so if you're going to use one of these to measure something like a uh, little uh, transmitter for your FPV for instance then you're going to have to factor that in at the beginning so there is a 3db loss running through the attenuator so I think it'll be best if I just keep the camera pointed at the power meter I'll uh, do some adjustments to the attenuator and just call them out what I'm doing so we can see you know how spot on it is to uh, 1 dB and 10 dB etc so to start off with let's try on the uh, lower scale let's try adding 1 dB and see what that does we've got 1 dB there and it seems uh, pretty stable we've got uh, 22 point fluctuating 67 dBm at the moment so not too bad at all for the accuracy so let's try 2 dB and again it's made uh, a jump again and you know it's uh, pretty accurate there 23.14 dBm so a little bit over the 1 dB but uh, it's not too bad at all I mean there's going to be loss in the cables and uh, that etc so let's jump up to uh, 6 dBm now And those last two digits are starting to creep up a little bit now. We're on uh, minus 27.37 dBm. But again, you know, it's uh, pretty accurate for uh, 20 pounds and free shipping, you'll have to admit. So what I've done now then, I've changed the uh, output on the signal generator from uh, 1 gigahertz to 3 gigahertz. You can see on the uh, boot and power meter there, the scale has jumped up. A little bit on those last two digits we're now at minus 20.97 dBm so let's try and put it in 10 dBm and see how well it does with that so we've jumped up a little bit more than 10 dBm so it's not quite as accurate there it's 31.41 uh, dBm there so we've got an extra dBm added to it so you know it's not 10 dBm really it's more like uh, 11 dBm so not quite as accurate but uh, I'll try it again at uh, the 1 gigahertz signal and see if that uh, changes anything and here we are again at a uh, 1 gigahertz signal it's not uh, changed anything at all so it's not the fact that we've gone up in the uh, higher frequency there but uh, it is off by 1 dB so we're back on uh, a 3 gigahertz signal again so let's try uh, 20 db so we should see the scale jump up to uh, minus 40 dbm on the power meter and we've got minus 41.62 so again just that little bit off again but uh, it depending on how precise you want to be if you're wanting to uh, say measure a uh, transmitter for your FPV for instance then uh, I wouldn't worry too much about the 1 dBm but it's certainly not going to be uh, something that I can use to calibrate my network analyzer not with that uh, drifting of 1 dBm there so I've just hooked everything up to a uh, different signal source just so I can be a little bit more precise with this signal source because I want to test the uh, 0 0.25 0 0.5 dbm on this uh, little attenuator so i've got it as close to minus 15 as i possibly can you can see we've got a little bit of fluctuation there so just trying to get it to stabilize but uh, let's try uh, 0 0.25 of a db so you can see there it's uh, just about bang on the money there we've got uh, 15 point 25 of a dbm and that's pretty damn accurate i have to say and uh, we're inputting a signal here of uh, 2.4 gigahertz so we're at the higher band there and you can see you know it's it's pretty spot on the money you know we've got the variation in that uh, final digit there but that's to be expected with the cables and uh, the losses etc i'm pretty impressed with uh, the 0.25 of a dbm there so next let's uh, try uh, 0 0.5 of a dBm then 
and again that's uh, pretty much spot on 15.5 uh, dBm on the scale on the boot and power meter so it's doing really well at the uh, lower dBm attenuation it just seems to lose it a little bit um, above uh, 10 dBm and I have tried off camera uh, taking it all the way up and down the scale I didn't include it because it is a little bit boring but it uh, is you know uh, a lot less accurate further up there but it seems to be uh, you know extremely accurate um, at the uh, lower dBm there so if you use this 10 dBm and below it does seem pretty accurate I have to say so as a final test then let's try uh, 0 0.75 of a uh, dB and again not too bad we've got 0 0.7778 of a dBm on the uh, power meter so you know when you take into consideration that this is uh, something that costs £20 and free shipping from China it's uh, not too bad at all I have to say especially at the lower dBm so to conclude this video then I'm uh, very surprised of how well it did on the uh, lower dBm even in the uh, higher frequency there it uh, you know works really really well on the uh, point of a dB and uh, as I said I did expect it to be the uh, other way around where it did well uh, higher up in the 10s 20s and 30s uh, dB than uh, it did on the lower side but uh, again you know 20 pounds and free shipping if you just wanted a uh, programmable attenuator just for general purpose work this uh, is more than adequate at doing that yeah it loses a little bit higher up um, you know uh, a couple of db here and there but uh, overall 20 pounds and free shipping i don't think you can really grumble so as i said at the beginning of the video though uh, i'd search ebay there is one that already comes in a uh, nice aluminium enclosure and uh, the price difference is no way you're going to be able to uh, buy an aluminium closure and uh, fit it yourself and still come in at that price point i really don't know how they uh, come up with the goods and make money on them as well but uh, yeah if you're after a programmable attenuator for general purpose work this is definitely going to suit your needs so if you did enjoy this uh, hopefully quick video please give it a uh, thumbs up any comments or questions if you've got one of these let us know in the comments below and hopefully you'll join me on the next one